Today, Defense Minister rolled out some 75 artificial intelligence-based technologies and equipment. Uh, this is going to set the future course of Indian defense. Uh, I'm being joined by BL Chairman A. Ramalingam Ji. Madam, uh, welcome to National Defense. I just want to understand uh, the BL's contribution in artificial intelligence development, ma'am, which uh, Defense Minister Rajnath Singh rolled out today. Yeah. Uh, as the uh, Defence Secretary was also mentioning, the uh, MOD had formed a committee for taking up such AI-based enabled projects for the last couple of three years or so. And we have been a very prominent member in that group. And uh, prior to that also, we had we realized that this uh, AI has got, is very powerful in ensuring that we are not only maximize our resources, but also uh, uh, ensure quick, quick decision making and use it also for uh, part of a predictive maintenance, which all the services are looking at. So we had internally also taken up some 25 to 30 projects and I'm very happy to tell you all that uh, we have been successful in most of them including uh, you know, finding it, uh, including trying to uh, detect some anomalies in the, through the social media also. Uh, tracking the social media and trying to help the forces and telling them that something is really wrong from what the social media is trying to project and what is actually it, it is. So such type of uh, tracking and detection, it requires a lot of data. A lot of data analytics is also required, a lot of artificial intelligence is required. So we saw the power of that and we have been doing it. In, in fact, one of our flagship projects, that is the voice analysis uh, system, has been launched by the Honorable Raksha Mantriji. And we are very honored. It is a very powerful tool and which can be used in all the border areas for intercepting and then finding out from where, the, not only the source of that uh, uh, information, but also what exactly it is. So it not only it does, it also identifies the language, it does that language translation as well as the classification. So this is a really very important tool which I'm sure the intelligence agencies will be looking at. And they have already shown some keen interest. We have to only build it into an, into the current projects which we are making. Uh, Ma'am, uh, you talked about the long border areas which we have two hostile neighbors, northern and the western neighbor. So how you're going, uh, your technology is going to help uh, Indian uh, military and uh, especially the intelligence agencies. Uh, I had uh, seen earlier instances of using artificial intelligence wherein there were some uh, overlapping because if animal intrudes then it was very difficult to know whether it is an animal or a human. So how, how you uh, progress on that count? Uh, no, the, see, uh, such things happen over a period of time. We try to get a lot of data and then make the system learn the data. And as and when the system learns the data, it is able to find out what exactly it is. So it is it evolves over a period of time, but to whatever the existing tools are there, that, it's, uh, that also gives a, a, a good amount of uh, detection and, uh, uh, and classification of uh, the uh, targets. In addition to this, even for the coast, uh, for the Coast Guard, which is uh, mandated with the, uh, securing the coastal line of the country, we have been supplying the coastal surveillance systems. So there also in the addition support where we have put in lot of artificial intelligence, whereas uh, by in which uh, the commander sitting at the headquarters at Delhi, he is able to monitor the complete uh, uh, this, uh, 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 the complete coastal uh, this thing and the then situation. find the situation there and then in case of any intrusion they are able to detect whether it is a friend or a foe or what exactly the intrusion is uh, is uh, going ahead with what is the type of uh, uh, munitions they are carrying are they carrying any ammunition such so on and so forth so it is something which is really aiding them in their addition support. So I would say that uh, the coastal surveillance system has got a decision support system where this artificial intelligence is aiding the operator to take the right decision and then inform their process to ensure that the uh, correct countermeasure is taken. taken. Ma'am, uh, Defence Minister also talked about uh, that anyone who controls uh, the technology, artificial intelligence would be the ruler, but he yeah, also yeah. talked about uh, the democratization of artificial intelligence technology. So do you see any export potential in it? How Google is going to contribute in the export? Yeah, yeah, we see a huge export potential. See, it is something like, uh, I, I would say it is a, a extrapolation of the capability of our uh, software engineers. See, it is basically something to do in that particular field where a lot of brain activity is involved. And we, as you all know, in, Indians are very good knowledge workers. 
So I'm very sure we will be able to use these AI tools and then ensure that uh, whatever the export uh, export countries require, whatever the foreign countries require, we will be able to slightly customize them or tweak them and then make it match to their requirement. I'm very sure there's a lot of uh, export potential for this and uh, not many countries are working in this area also. So as I told you, because it is basically a knowledge uh, uh, which is uh, the background for all this and not many country uh, civilians have it. So I'm, uh, they are looking at our country and I'm sure once we make some inroads into our services, there will be huge export potential and I'm very confident that we'll be able to match whatever is the requirement there. Raksha Mantri, uh, my last question, ma'am, has facilitated at least three students today in the yeah. event. Uh, how are you going to engage the students? Any message for them, the youngsters of this country? Because they have got, uh, got that brain. Yeah, what of uh, late what we are trying to do is uh, we are trying to see if we can sponsor some uh, B.Tech and M.Tech programs in some of the very uh, well-known uh, colleges and universities so that uh, these uh, students get involved with well at a very early stage, maybe from the second year onwards. And then we ensure we assure them that yes, we will be given a good project and a good job in well, and they can continue in that field. So, and not only that, we also conduct a lot of uh, hackathons, quiz programs, etc., in various uh, institutions and ac academic institutions, where we go to them and tell them about a problem, and we are really surprised by the way they think. They think quite differently from what we think. I mean, we always think in a way which we we have been tutored to. But they are they are not like that. So natural they, thinking. Yeah, natural spontaneous. thinking, spontaneous, natural, and they give us uh, very different ideas. But uh, we finally see that those ideas are really workable. So we see a lot of uh, the merit in go doing that, and we would like to engage them much more than this. Of course, we have a very well documented uh, guideline of engaging with startups. So of late, we have started uh, uh, using the services of startups also because they are also able to quickly turn out the technology what we require. I mean, we as a because we are a big company and there is a lot of uh, this thing, but whereas the startup uh, again fresh mind fresh thinking so they are able to quickly turn out and then we are we are able to take that and then uh, commercialize them and scale it up and then use them in our systems and projects so uh, future of this country I was uh, in the safe hands of uh, very well uh, you know, knowledgeable and very well informed students and uh, startups who the students who are willing to take up challenges and risks they are all starting to you know they are going and starting their own industry at such a young age so naturally they they also have lot of energy and passion and we want to exploit them i mean not exactly exploit but we want to make use of that and then see that we are able the country benefits and not only the weak benefit the country also benefits and we are able to finally export it certainly so, uh, yes. we should good luck ma'am thank, thank you so you much so for much. speaking to me giving your precious time thank thanks you. a lot indeed thank you thank, thank you so much thank you it's a pleasure speaking to you thank you